Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. This is the Ramble. I'm Alex. And we go until midnight tonight here in the United States of America. And let me turn on my camera, and here I am. Oh, there we go. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. It's, uh, it's uh, what, Thursday already. Okay, Thursday. Uh, so uh, we're halfway through the cycle. Okay. Well, in about an hour, we'll be halfway through the cycle. And then we see you again tomorrow night, and then we're off for the weekend. Ta-da! Okay. Anyway, uh, so this is uh, this is Thursday, and uh, because I didn't have any interview to run, uh, we do what we do to make the audience suffer, ladies and gentlemen, and bring you our old friend. Uh, yes, he. he uh, let me see here if I can uh, get him here. There we go. It, uh, he's got to join in here. Let me see here. There we go. And there's Phil Meyer. Boy, you're you're you look you look like Trump. Uh, yeah, am I uh, a little orange? Very orange. Yeah. Um, I'm there you trying. go. That's better. Yeah, I'm just I'm just trying. And then your audio isn't work. Your audio sounds like oh. it's coming from the other side of the room. Oh, yeah, it was coming from the other side of the room. Uh, well, yeah, I, I don't know why the the camera's kicking in and out. I turned up the saturation a little bit, but. Why'd you turn up the saturation? Yeah. Why'd you turn up the saturation? Uh, because uh, when I was looking at the camera, it uh, it looked like it needed it. Um, See, now you got too much saturation. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah. yeah, okay, I'll get rid of this. You should have gotten this taken care of before we came on for crying out loud. But I did. Uh, it's just that um, it, uh, it failed. It failed. Okay, that's fine. That's that's good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, uh, uh, well, how how you feeling? I I I wanted you to know that I watched your uh, posting of uh, your friend Shecky's tribute, and mm -hmm. um, I thought you did a yeoman's job. I think I might have mentioned it that uh, uh, you had great energy, uh, and. Uh, yeah, I think it went over exactly as you wanted it to. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, good job. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You know, uh, not often isn't every day of the week I have to follow David Letterman. Well, uh, you know, you had mentioned. I think I had heard a little bit of last night's show, and you had mentioned that David Letterman maybe didn't do such a great job. Uh, kind of, and it was kind of like he was mailing it in. He was phoning it in. You know, is there an inside joke about pay to him? Because he says, am I getting paid for this? No, that was a, he thought that was a cute, fun way to end it. You know, oh. I mean, I mean, that's up to him. You know, yeah. of course, uh, that shows what happens when you don't have writers anymore. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. Well, all the writers were doing the tributes. Yeah. Well, I felt that the people that they got to talk, you know, just in those little clips and stuff did a marvelous job. Yeah, you know, I yeah. mean, and the editing of them and everything. I mean, I had, as I said yesterday, uh, I had a lot of reservations about that day. I was, I had uh, a, an anxiety attack the night before, which doesn't usually happen to me, but I was expecting the worst, okay? Yeah. And I did, and, it, and when it turned out as miraculously well as it did, uh, I was delighted, absolutely delighted. I thought delighted. you were well prepared uh, uh, you know, you had let on a, a little bit about uh, your what you were going to do, and I, I think you carried it over, and, and it all worked. Well, I had uh, every you know, a lot of people have accused me in the past of not um, uh, prepping, doing prep for my shows, okay? And I said, That's insane. I said, I prep 24 7, you know. I, when I'm sitting around, I see something on TV and go, I've got to mention that tomorrow, and I've got to mention that tomorrow. And uh, I don't, so that's why I don't come on with notes. You notice I didn't have any notes there or anything. 
No. Uh, and and what, what I did is every night before I went, uh, as I was going off to sleep, lying with my head on the pillow, I would come up with um, uh, uh, just, you know, I would work it over in my head and work it over oh. my head. And each day kind of revised itself and so on and so forth. So when I finally got up there, I was ready to do it. You know, well, I, I just hoped that everything would land where I wanted it to land. And it, and it did. You know, the year, the time that I spent uh, helping you out at Camel, uh, yes, you didn't come in with notes, but you had in your mind exactly mm -hmm. uh, the different segments that you were going to do, and you could, you could make it happen, probably because you've been doing it for you know, years. You know, back then it was probably, what, 20 years, but... Uh, you know, it's it's a lot well, of time. Well, you know, Albert, you always give me a bad time saying that I didn't do prep for the show at, at Sirius XM. And uh, Lynn Samuels used to give me a bad time. You never prep for your shows. And I, I said to him the other day, I said, he said, that's the most you've ever prepped for anything. And I said, no, it isn't. I said, I prep that way all the time. You know, yeah. I would get I would get in my car when I was doing my shows in San Francisco and go get in the car and go drive out into Marin and in the back of Marin in the woods and all of that and while I was doing that I would do pretend radio shows in my mind so I would know what I wanted to say you know and that's where you'd stash the bodies yeah that they yeah but that's my prep <laughs> that's my prep you know yeah and and it uh, that's why I never have notes you know, and people wonder, well, you know, everybody else there had was were reading you know, from notes and well, as well they should, they're not professionals that but way. Think about this. Your your radio broadcasts oftentimes had to do with what you were doing out in in the in your day or the yeah. night before. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you were always doing stuff. Uh, you know, when you worked for when you worked for Camel, uh, there was always something that you were doing afterwards. You were invited to this. You saw this. Uh, uh, so, and oftentimes you included me uh, in in your little trek, and it you know it was, it was really interesting yeah. and fun. But that's the way I always did radio. I mean, I never came in with a. People said, "Well, what are you gonna what are you gonna do tomorrow?" And I said, "I don't know." Yeah, I don't know till I get on the air. I, I, but my mind is constantly going all day long, you know. But, and that's what happened here. I mean, every night I would lie there and I would say this, and then I'll do that, and then I'll do this, and then I'll do that. And then a lot of the jokes that I used in it were things that I came up with as I was lying in bed, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, like when I talked about, you know, Steve Weiner uh, giving me to Shecky as a present, and then I said, you know, the cheapest gift ever. You know, yeah. that, that I, but you know, you don't know until you do it, whether it's going to land right. And it landed right. Well, you know? It worked. Yeah. And, uh, I, and I liked how you got the applause and you left the stage. Yeah. Uh, uh you know, uh, and you left the stage to applause that was for your friend. For Shecky. Shecky. Although but, somebody did uh, say to me, nice way to get applause, uh, Alex. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. exactly <laughs> what I thought. <laughs> that wasn't the, that wasn't, that wasn't the reason I did. I know it, that. Yeah, know. I know. Uh, but, uh, but it worked, you know, so what it was, if it was a double edged sword and, uh, you know, got, yeah, well, you know, I mean, I had three and a half minutes to do it in and I, I think I did it in three and a half minutes. You know, I think I may have done it in less actually, if I time yeah. it, you know, yeah. But that was, you know, it was, uh, and then meeting all the people that day, if I hadn't, some of them I hadn't seen in years, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of his film friends that I, that I knew through Shecky uh, back in the day, uh, all of a sudden I got to see them again, you know, after all yeah. these years. And, yeah, uh, I, you know, and Leonard Malton, who, I, who mm -hmm. I only really met once in my life, but we knew of each other through Rick. I mean, Rick would talk mm -hmm. about me to him and he would talk to me about Malton, you know. Um, yeah, I listened to most of his. And then there was uh, a guy there named David Pierce, who I did get to know quite well through Shecky, in that mm -hmm. he is uh, he is the head of uh, film uh, uh, preservation. Uh, oh yes, for the archive for the um, National Archives. National Prior Archive. to that, though, when I first met him, he mm -hmm. was with the NSA, and was kind of um, an agent shall we say, oh. of, right. for the NSA. Uh, so, um, and I hadn't seen him in quite a while. It was good to see him, 
you know. And then yeah. there were some other people I saw. Jerry Foley was the director of the Letterman Show, who I got to know through Shecky, and uh, uh, you know, um, a, a lot of people like that that, that that I had known over the years. Oh, Bob Morton, who they call Morty, who used to be the producer of the Letterman Show, who I've known for years. You know, and I haven't seen him in years. And then it was great to see him, you know. That this experience was, if you look at it, maybe it was a, another gift from your friend Rick Sheckman. That oh, he, it's it definitely. That this, right. This was an opportunity for you to, you know, mingle amongst your peers again yeah. and uh, and really feel good about yourself. And I'm, I'm glad. Well, I'm glad. I, I felt good about what I did. I, you know, yeah. I, I just certainly didn't feel bad about it. The only moment of fear that I had was when we were um, getting, I was getting ready, you know, I saw I was third on the bill, and so they started playing a video cl a clip, a, what they call a video package. And so I walked up there getting ready to go on, and um, uh, the woman who was running this uh, said to me, oh, you don't, it, it, this goes on for about 12 minutes. Just go sit down and enjoy it, you know, and then when you see Dave Letterman is the last thing on the clip. And I went back to the seat and I looked at Marjorie and I said, I have to go on after Letterman. Well, you did, you you did know, really good. You know, and, and uh, well, to begin with, to say that I followed David Letterman is a very nice thing to say. You know. Yeah. You know. I think so. Let me turn on uh, my air conditioning here just a little bit. Uh, is the air conditioning pulling in any air from outside? Last night I had it on. It didn't seem to because I, you could smell it. If you open the windows, we had the windows open in the apartment, and you could smell it in the house, and we closed all the windows, you know. Yeah, can you put it on, recirculate the air conditioning? Well, I don't know, it must be or something, because I never got the smell of the smoke in here. That's good. Okay. That's uh, good. And uh, so, you know, yeah. Yeah, that was really something yesterday. You know, mm. that was scary. Yeah, and, and, is it, you know, are the skies still orange? Are the skies still orange? Uh, no, no, they oh. are not orange. Um, so but, Trump lifted his curse. Oh, let me see here. Hold on a second. Let me see here if I still have it. Oh, let me the, see uh, here. Uh, My background. Yeah. 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 Is it still there? Is it still there? No, it's there. It's gone. Cause, oh no, yeah. it's not gone. Not gone. Let me see if it's if it's here. There we go. Yeah. That, that's what it looked like. Wow. Tell me uh, that is apocalyptic. Isn't. Well, that was what I said. <laughs> I, when I saw it, I said, "Boy, that's apocalyptic," and uh, it was. It was apocalyptic. Yeah. Uh, and uh, anyway, so I'll go back to my other one. Yeah. But it was, it was apocalyptic. It was scary. No, I, you absolutely. Know? You know, we in the West Coast during the uh, the fires. The same uh, thing happened uh, to you happened. out there. Yeah. Right. Uh, now it wasn't orange, but, although the sun. Uh, but you looked, didn't. You didn't get it as bad as we did because, and I'll no, tell you no why, way. because they said yesterday that mm -hmm. we were the most polluted place on the fa on Earth on the pl on the planet. Well, that's you have had that uh, ranking for a long time. No, we never did. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, New York was pretty polluted. L.A., New York, L.A. You know, had it for years, and so on and so forth. But uh, it was, it was, it was, they say it is the worst weather conditions in the history of taking, listing weather conditions in New York. Wow. Yeah. So, you know, but I hope we don't all die from it. You know, we'll have to, we'll have to wait and you know, see. The Chinese gave us uh, COVID. Now the Canadians are giving us air pollution. Yeah, right. And I got a nice little note from Jim Browning who said, it's not my fault. Yeah. Oh, that's a, that's don't nice. don't blame us. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's nice. That's a, it's been a while since. Uh, yeah. You, well, I've I've I, been in contact with him. I've written him occasionally, and you know, yeah. just want to make sure he's okay. You know, and everything's right, that's all that's right true. up there. You know, so he's a talented guy. He's a very talented guy, and I wish he would do a show here again. Uh, I was sad when it left. I felt he was the most inventive person I yeah. had worked with in years, you know. Yeah. Uh, and it just didn't, it didn't, uh, didn't, uh, it, 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 whatever happened, happened, you know. Yeah. Who knows hey, what it was. Water under the bridge, kind of yeah. like buying a Mac Studio with an M1 chip. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, I, I you had to pry out of me which one I got. Uh, I, I didn't sit there and say, oh, I got one that was uh, one step better than yours. You, you, you know, you had to pry it out of me. And then on top of that, uh, you know, it, it's there's always something newer. There's always. Well, something yeah, new. but but uh, the thing is, if you're getting close to the time when they're going to announce the latest. I version, bought it a couple of months ago. No, that was I, that, I told you at that time to wait because I knew that within a couple right. of months the M2s would be coming out, and it's 50% faster in a lot of cases. Well, I read an article that said that that might be very delayed, if ever, or may not come out in the studio, it may just come out in the Mac Pro. But It's just we uh, know that every year at this particular time, they upgrade the Mac Studio. I know next year, this time, there'll be an M3. Mac yeah. Studio. Uh, yeah, and I'll and next year at this time I'll I'll still be as happy with this as I am now. Well, I'm very happy with the one I've got. I've yeah. never had any any remorse about it. And you know, uh, I, you know, I it, right now they up upped it this one to an M2 as well. Yeah. Uh, an M2 uh, Max, I think it's called. Right. And uh, it's really fast too. It's probably as fast as your machine now in because your machine is now faster, you know. So it's, Right. But the thing is that if you wait long enough, uh, and Apple will make you have buyer's remorse. Yeah, you know? well. And that's uh, the one thing I haven't liked about Apple. You know, yeah. it'd be nice if Apple oh. said to you, oh, hey, you just bought that one? Hey, listen, there's a new one. A little upgrade. Here, uh, for a couple more, for a couple of bucks, you can upgrade to the other one. Just send the one you got in. You know? This is the problem. You know, uh, I have a program yeah. that has to see. Uh, a catalog of pictures mm -hmm. and if it's on one computer it won't see it on another computer uh, without making those pictures all talk to one another and so I went down to Monterey a couple of weeks ago and my friend who uh, wrote a book about Lightroom and uh, he, he's very very knowledgeable with this stuff took a full day and worked with me to convert everything over from the garbage can to this now, uh, the, he was saying to me... He this is, by the way, this is of no interest to our audience. No, 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 no. There's a story behind this. He didn't feel good. So I told him, I said, why don't you get an EKG? So, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, you know, not going to drink caffeinated coffee. And so he gets the EKG the next day. Uh, that next day, then they did an angiogram on him. Uh, he has a 100% blockage in uh, in one of his arteries, but he had collaterals that grew around it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, if I didn't get this work done then, now he's, you know, been in the hospital back and forth recuperating. Uh, they After they did the angiogram, they didn't stent him because he didn't go to a place, a special lab that could do multiple stents in a 100% blocked artery. And, you know, a lot of people uh, in that artery, they call it the Widowmaker. Yeah. Uh, and if getting collateral arteries that grow around it is very rare. I, that's what I had, and that's why I didn't have a heart attack. Uh, but I didn't have enough blood flow to go out and do the scuba diving and stuff that I was doing. And uh, uh, so the same thing happened with him. And uh, so if I would have waited for the new computer... Yeah. Uh, he, he may not have been around to convert my pictures uh, so, so that it will work. Uh, so I, the timing was, was, yeah, was but right. I, I don't know what the problem is converting the pictures, but all I'm saying is that you probably, you know, you could put all your pictures in the regular uh, photo library that Apple has as its own system. And oh, it, I, I use an Adobe program called Lightroom. Well, I you have Lightroom here too. I know what Lightroom is, but you don't have to use Lightroom. You can no, use, but I, I you can I you can put all your stuff on uh, what's it called? What's the name of the program? Uh, yeah, the uh, photo. Yeah, if, if, uh, photos, just photos. Right. I and do all my stuff there, and of course, it shows up everywhere else. You know? And I and I converted my storage from the Drobo, which went bankrupt, uh, to. Well, of course, uh, you bought it. It cost and had, you a lot yeah, of money. Well, They're going to go bankrupt. Five years ago. Yeah. yeah, well, it took five years for them to screw me, but <laughs> yeah. uh, there's no support. You can't even download their uh, That's terrible. System. That's terrible. 
You know, that's yeah. really terrible. A company should leave you, not leave you stranded. Well, they they could say, seven. well, they could, they could say we're going Chapter 7, but, you know, in any event, we're not going to leave you stranded. Here's what you can do or not do in order to adapt it to something else. Or here's somebody. I mean, yeah. I have, uh, what, what, what is it, QNAP here? QNAP oh. here. It's the same as a Drobo. It does exactly what a Drobo yeah. does, you know. Uh, and uh, I don't think QNAP's ever going to go out of, out of business. And if they do they'll sell it to somebody else who will keep producing it you know that's what well, you I'm think that would happen to drobo but no I'm, not... drobo's one of those off brands yeah your qnap is a, your qnap to begin with is a chinese company and you know oh. they're not going up belly up okay no they no. pretty well stay the way they are but anyway well, uh, talking about people that went belly up Hat Robinson, dead at 93. Dead at 93. And wait a minute. Hold on a second. Where is it? Uh, bah, 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 bah. Um, do I still have it here? I thought I had it here. And I guess I don't. People that oh, here here we go. Here we go. A lot of people say, what's that? It's Pat. Here comes Pat. Oh, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that was our... Here comes Pat. Yeah. Because, you know, we used to run Pat. Robertson the stuff you know yeah and uh, boy was he was he weird but yeah he's dead he's gone yeah but I, he was an old guy he was 93 or something 94 I remember 10 15 years ago he uh, pushed a thousand pounds with his legs uh, on one of those uh, exercise machines where you you sit down you put your legs up against a plate and he had a thousand pounds of weight on it and he moved it up uh, the guy was pretty amazing, but uh, he was also an asshole. Well, <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, you know, I think he had some uh, uh, good things about him. No, he was a, a he was a uh, he was a guy who, under false pretenses, convinced people to give him money. A uh, false pretense oh. being, of course, that there's a god. Pat Robinson? No, I Pat thought that Robertson. was the, Carolina, I thought that was the guy from North Carolina that was selling timeshares. No, no, uh, no, no, that you're thinking. Yeah. No, you, no. It, 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 that, it, Pat Robertson had the uh, PT, uh, 700, not, 700 club. 700 club. Right. Uh, what's his name? Whose wife was uh, Tammy Faye Baker, yeah. Jim Baker. Uh, yeah. he had the PT the uh, uh, PTL club. Right. Uh, and um uh Robertson was one of the assholes involved in that whole plot to get uh, the PTL's, uh, uh, what do you call it? transponders, satellite transponders, because they didn't invest in them. And he I thought did. that was Swaggart. No, Swaggart didn't have them. Yeah. They, they had to buy, rent theirs from uh, Jim Baker, and ah. so did Falwell. And they all got together and decided that they were going to plot to get Baker. So then they released all this stuff, got all this stuff out in the wind about him doing this and doing that. And finally, Falwell came to him and said, listen, turn over the entire, all the satellites to me, your satellites mm -hmm. to me, and I will uh, keep them in check while you solve these problems. And then when you're through, I'll give them back to you. Well, when he was through, he never gave them back to him. And yeah. Robertson was part of that group that was oh. like because they all they all coveted these uh, these these uh, uh, transponders. So, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it you, sounds you, like you, a, a you, similar deal to uh, Trump's indictment. Uh, yes, I was going to bring that up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there was a survey on Drudge that said, uh, "Will Trump serve jail time?" And at the moment, it's 50, almost 58 percent no, 34 percent yes, and 8 percent not sure. And who cares what the public thinks? Well, I mean, just because he's taking a poll doesn't mean that's the way it's going to turn out. Well, it wasn't Trump's poll. It was uh, no, no. It was it was Tr Drudge's poll. Drudge's poll. He runs yeah. those polls, and you go, well, why? You know, to begin with, you can't begin to say whether he's. Um, going to be found guilty or not because you don't know what the charges are yet and you yeah. don't know what they have against them they're but, over the records right? but i mean you, you it's over the stuff that he stole from the government from us well, from you that, and me you know 
well, that's not his position on it. Well, that's not his position on it, but his position is totally wrong. If he wanted to take those things out of the White House, there was a way in which you could take those out of the White House, but you had to go through the proper channels to do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he didn't. So. Well, uh, uh, let's see. Just uh, how we doing? But anyway, we're we're all delighted here that finally uh, he is going to be on Tuesday. Uh, yeah. He's going to have to be arraigned in court in Miami. Yeah. On seven, seven counts. Seven counts. Seven counts. Yeah. Uh, well, just before the uh, the uh, the hour, uh, CNN forty uh, percent down on advertising, and I guess licked. Oh is yeah. Out. Oh yeah. The, I, I heard it was twenty five percent. Uh, yeah, I just read 40. Uh, I mean, no, wait, wait, I heard it was 25%. And, and, and it was off No, I don't know if it was advertising. It was 25%. Uh, they lost 25% of their audience. Oh, but their advertising revenue yeah. went down 40%. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, blame that on Discovery. Don't blame that on Licked. Well, you know, Licked, uh, Licked, was just, Licked was hired by Discovery to go in there and, and uh, cut uh, costs. Mm. And so he went in there and he cut costs like crazy. And yeah, I guess that Brian Stelter was making a lot of money. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> but he went in there and he just started cutting costs, which, yeah. you know, is, is, was, was interesting. Well, uh, they said that the old guard from the previous uh, administration there uh, is back in uh, running the show. So it, it may go back to the way it was. But who knows? Maybe they'll. No, it's not going to go back to the way it was. I mean, you've got you've got Discovery running it, and Discovery doesn't know how to run a news channel. You know what do they know about news channels? You know they might know a little bit about running uh, cooking shows, but that's about it. You know, and when uh, uh, it seems as though well, what's happened is that ever since Discovery took over uh, this entire thing. Uh, oh, that's where I heard the revenues were down 25%. In the whole Discovery thing, the HBO, oh. which became Max, and so on and so forth, uh, their stock dropped 25% mm. because okay. of that. Yeah. And you notice the stock market's been going up? Uh, Not that terrifically. Yeah. No, well, yeah, I'm, my Amazon stock has just uh, doubled. Doubled uh, when, since when? Last week? No, 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 since I bought it. Which was when in 1870? No, uh, beginning of the year. Uh, it went up uh, almost forty uh, percent. God, I uh, hate to see them do well. You know, it really bothers me because they treat why? they because they treat their people terribly. Yeah. You know, I almost feel guilty about ordering from them. But where else am I going to go? Well, you, you know, know, people take the they don't have to take that job. You know, they, they can... You can say that, but some people need a job desperately so they have to take it, okay? Uh, yeah, I, well... You know, don't, don't take that. Wrong. Look, there's look, nothing wrong Phil, with it. Phil, 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 you have, you have people that work for you. You have employees. You treat them well, I'm sure, because, you, because you, you know, you want to be good to them. He, uh, 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 Amazon should be the same way. They, you know, to say that well, they could get a, they don't have to take the job. The fact is that if you're going to hire people, you should treat them right. Well, are they really not treating them right? Oh, treating I mean, them horribly. They weren't able. You, you'd have to ask your supervisor if you could go take a pee, and if he said no, you'd have to like do it in your pants. What was you that know? company? I mean, in it, China was that that people, it was that bad. It was that bad. People, what, what was that company in China that people were jumping out of the windows? Uh, uh, Fo was, Foxconn. Uh, Foxconn. Yeah. So what you're saying is is that Amazon is using the Foxconn model of employment? Well, they, they, they've got their own model of employment, but it was you've got to do things in a certain amount of speed so they get the stuff out fast enough and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, pregnant women were wanting to take breaks because, you know, and they couldn't take them. I mean, I was just watching a thing tonight on it that John Oliver did, and it was terrible, just terrible. Yeah. yeah, well, you know, we're spoiled. We want our stuff in a day. You know, I, I've ordered stuff and I've gotten it the same day. Yeah. Uh, it, it, yeah. But, you know, I, I said, yeah, this is a company that I buy stuff from. And, uh, uh, yeah, I, and I realized that there are, there are always, always issues. Yeah. You know, but let, let, um, 
We only have one person waiting here, but let's bring them in. You know, this is Thursday night, so this may be yeah. it, you know. Nah, oh, here comes it. Brian Neary. Okay, we got him. Okay. Dr. Josh. Huh? Dr. Josh, Dr. the night Josh. Yeah. And there's Brian Neary. Oh, uh -huh. look at him. He's uh, he, he got all kinds of shadows on you and everything. The sun is oh, starting the to the blinds are open. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. That's fine. Because by the time we're through here, it'll probably be dark in there. You know, so. uh, I don't know. You know, it's it's uh, it's really sunny and daylight out, yeah. and we've got clear skies. Unlike the, you, you know, New Yorkers, you know. Yeah, yeah. But uh, anyway, so uh, uh, hi, Josh. Hello, Josh. Hello, Brian. Hello, hello, hello to uh, uh, Alan. Uh, oh. And my question would be to all of you, how do you feel about the news today that our dear former president is going to be charged on, uh, what is it, Tuesday, 10 o'clock? Right, you have the right to remain silent. Yeah, yeah. And you can make America great again. Yeah. You can't. By arresting him, yes. Right. By arresting him, <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I think a lot of people are happy it finally happened because this has been going on for such a long time. What were they waiting for? But I think that uh, this guy, what's his name? I can't remember his name now, who was doing the special. Smith. Huh? Smith. Smith, yeah. Who was doing the special uh, thing on him. Uh, I think was waiting till he had everything he needed to convict him. He didn't want to just do it willy-nilly. And he must have a real case against him because he could have filed it in Washington, D.C., but he didn't. He filed it in Miami. And in Miami, uh, you've got a very, if you hold the trial down there, you've got a, a very conservative crew down there, okay? So they must feel they have a very strong case. That, uh, Dade uh, County is uh, is Democratic. Is it? Uh, is it really? Yeah, yeah. Dade County is uh, very blue. I, did, I haven't heard that. Uh, it is. I, I lived there. Well, know. anyway, I, I, I'm sure he would not have done a charge against Trump unless he felt he had he had enough to do it with. Because you don't want to do this and not have it at least have a decent case to be made. Uh, I don't think that they're really worried about convicting him. I think what they're trying to do is weaken his position uh, as, as where he's as running. For no, no, I, I don't think so. I don't. I disagree. I, I disagree, too. I don't think that is the motivation at all. I think, yeah. in fact, Smith is probably such a decent person that he wanted to make sure that nobody could say that. Smith is a Republican. You know, I mean, the only person that brought this on him, uh, on themselves is Trump himself. You know, it, 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 Trump can't complain about this. He, he did something wrong. He wouldn't admit to it, you know. So... Here's what he's going to have to pay. You know, don't forget that. Uh, he's going to have to pay the price. What do you think, Josh? You're, you know. Oh, hey, Josh. Uh, well, I, I had. Maybe turn your mic down, will you, a little bit, Josh? Because it, it's maybe an automatic. Huh? He might have it on automatic. so that If it were on automatic, it might not be that loud. Not really? Uh, Any better here? No, no. That's uh, really loud. Uh, on. Uh, if you can, there's something uh, called uh, what, what is it? Auto sound? Uh, you just unclick it so the box isn't. Don't clicked. listen to Bill. He doesn't know anything. You, you know how to get to your settings, right? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'll just keep talking. I'll work on it. Uh, go to audio, and then you know. What do you think, Brian? I think it's good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, I it's 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 always that, you know, the, these games keep going on, and then we keep getting a little bit further, a little bit further. So, I guess we'll see. So. Well, it it's nice that he's, you know, that this is finally. Ha I'm happy that it's finally happened, because I do think that we live in a country where no one should be, uh, you know, above the law. Mm -hmm. And, and and if you've done something, you should have to answer for it. And he's going to have his day in court, you know. Uh, I mean, I, I we're not going to sit here and try him on this program, but I will say if everything we've heard so far, which has been general knowledge, 
is true, I think the, they've got a good case against him because you just don't do what he did. You know, to say that I can declassify uh, documents at will, you know, just by genie binking my eyes, you know. But uh, the, the Clinton uh, email server, the... No, no, for, no, forget about that. Forget no, about why that. should I forget you about know, that? Forget about that. I'll tell you why you should forget about it, because that's not what we're talking about here. But, we're talking but, about this case. We're not talking no, no, about no, what no, happened no, no. with Clinton. Don't, don't pull that talk show stuff on no, me. No, I'm not pulling talk show <laughs> stuff on you. You're, yeah. you're trying to change the discussion by moving no, it from I'm there to over, to, is, over, to, over to Clinton. Okay, what you said was that everybody, nobody's above the law. And I'm saying that not only Clinton, not only uh, 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 Biden had uh, plenty of classified stuff in his garage next to the Corvette uh, with people walking in and out. And he and, his and what did he do as soon as they found out it, he had it? Well, they turned it over. Oh, and what did Tr what did Trump do when they found out he, he had was it? negotiating? No, he was he was. He and then when he turned it over, he didn't turn it all over. There's well, there was, was still stuff there. It wasn't negotiated. It, it, he, you know, all I'm saying is, in the case of Clinton and Biden, they immediately, hey, we got stuff. Hey, here, you know, we didn't. Oh, we oh. sorry, we didn't mean to take it. In the case of Clinton, uh, Comey said that there was uh, and, wrong uh, yeah, okay and what uh, and what happened after he chose he, not he, to prosecute he chose not to prosecute after first putting the whole thing on hold and saying he was still thinking about what what he was going to do with her and he did that so in advance close to the election that it did hurt her chances okay in the not, election wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute so she was held to account, and the, the, the FBI looked at it, Comey looked at it, and said, there's nothing here. Okay? So don't bring that up, because he said it, she, she was absolved of that no, by she Comey. she wasn't absolved. He just said that he chose not to prosecute. He said there was nothing there to prosecute. Uh, no, he said that she Do you, do you remember it, Josh? Yeah, is this, oh, is this no, audio you, any better? No. No. Oh. It's just really loud. Mm -hmm. Did you I'll hang up and call you back? Yeah, it, hang up and call back. Maybe that'll do it. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know where that setting is or what. The setting is that. it's when you go up to the green shield up at the top of your screen, and oh. then you get all the settings and stuff. There's an audio setting, and then you can set it there. You can bring it up or bring it down. You know, mm -hmm. but boy, he was overmodulating. Oh. No, but all I'm saying is, is that you know that that. Um, in the case of Trump, he was he. The, one of the charges is uh, what is it? Uh, obstruction, sedition. obstruction of justice. You know, not sedition. Uh, what, no, I, I thought he was charged on, uh, under the Sedition Act or something. Uh, and, uh, there was some. I I read a bunch of things they said, but then when I saw the list of uh, things he was being charged with, it doesn't seem to. He be. was charged under espionage and conspiracy. And we're talking about Trump still today. Is it espionage? Espionage and conspiracy. That's a horrible thing to level at an ex-president is espionage. Yeah, I hope they I hope they incarcerate him and, and no bail. I don't think he's ever going to be incarcerated. I, uh, ankle bracelets are not off the off the table, but you know. Uh, I, I, do you, you now? I have a bet with uh, one of your callers uh, that uh, he said that. Uh, Trump would be elect, uh, uh, Trump would be arrested, and I said he wouldn't. And I don't remember, you know, how much. It might have been five dollars, might have been a hundred dollars. Uh, John Lark, Larkin, Larkin, John Larkin. Uh, yeah, and <laughs> we haven't heard, we haven't heard from him. Uh, yeah, I wish while. he'd call because he's the guy that got me in trouble with, uh, with uh, uh, YouTube. Uh, YouTube, yeah. Really? Yeah, I, I hadn't heard him. Yeah, everybody said that must have been something that uh, that uh, oh, that uh, Phil said, and it wasn't. It was something Larkin said. What he was doing is he was referring, and they wouldn't listen to me, you know. Yeah. But they were referring to uh, uh, he was ref he was talking about how Fox was giving out wrong information on COVID, and he was saying what they said. And then we discussed how terrible that was and that how could they be that way. But they didn't listen to the full context of it. They just heard that statement or their algorithms 
singled out that statement. And then they went back and had a live human being listen to it, and it was still only that, but not what went on before it or after it. I'm not saying Larkin got me in trouble. Well, he's the reason I got in trouble. But it makes me mad that I have no recourse to tell, well, let me have some recourse right now. YouTube, uh -huh. go fuck yourself. How does it feel okay. to be censored? You know, they've been doing that to the right wing for a long it's time. It's not censorship. Well, they, it is censorship. They, they, they took it off. You know, they did right. away with it. Uh, they did away with that And they episode. admonished you, and they said that if you oh, do I, it again, yeah, your I, ass is grass? No, no if, it, if it happens again, I will then have a strike against me. Right now, it's just a warning. Uh -huh. And it just pisses me off because I didn't do anything wrong. If anybody, if you remember me, if anybody in, in, on the Internet was talking about COVID and how you could prevent yourself from getting yeah. it and, you know, don't do this and don't do that and then admonishing anybody who would give unsubstantiated evidence, you know, now I won't even talk about COVID, you know, right. because I'm afraid they'll, like, take, take me out of context again. Well, if you look at the traffic out there, COVID yeah. is over. Uh, the, the pandemic is over. They're, they're, the traffic is now worse than it was prior to the pandemic. Yeah, well, I, if people are a little too loosey-goosey about the pandemic, you know, being over. Uh, well, I mean, we that's... Heard a, that you're, you're a spreader again, you know? Well, I mean, that, that, that's... I, how did I get it? Probably because we're just taking it too loosey-goosey. But then yeah. again, Marjorie... I mean, let's not get into that again, you know? Yeah. yeah but, but uh, hey, you know, since I got the new computer, I don't have all the backgrounds I used to have. Somebody's going to have to send me Tony's wallpaper. <laughs> don't send him anything. <laughs> don't send him anything. You want to send you a swatch? Uh, how are you doing now, Josh? You better? Now, well, now there's no microphone. Yeah, no, yeah turn it up a little. Can you hear me at all? Oh, now we can yeah. hear you a little bit. Yeah, yeah. talk yep. to talk, a bit. talk to us. All right, I can uh, I can turn it up a little bit. A little bit more. A little bit more, and then you'll be yep, a little bit more. Okay, this is about where it was to begin with, so. Uh, that better? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Anyway, what do you think about the whole Trump thing today? Well, I mean, you know, his his case, even you know, to go back what you were talking about with the Clinton thing or whatever. I mean, first of all, that's so old and over with that it doesn't matter anyway. You know, if if I'm stopped for going eighty in a fifty-five. And I try to say, well, what about that other guy that was going 80 and you didn't stop him? I mean, that's not going to work. You know, so mm -hmm. it's irrelevant anyway. His case is his case. If you're worried about the other cases, that's fine. There is a special prosecutor, investigator in those cases. Those cases are not over. So if something comes out of those cases, you know, if they come out next week and they say we have evidence here, that the sitting president did the same exact thing and he committed a crime and we're going to indict him, then I'll say, there you go, he's indicted. And now he has to face the consequences of what he did. You know, I'm not going to defend that. Yeah. The Trump's deal is probably, it's, you know, it's well-deserved. I think it's clear that he broke the law. I think it's clear that he knew that he was breaking the law when he broke it and that he was told uh, multiple times that he did. And... I think it's going to catch up. Well, to I would argue with you that he necessarily knew he was doing something wrong. Yeah. In that he has such an ego, he probably thought if he just, as I say, genie binked these uh, these uh, 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 documents to be non-classified. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, that's if he believed that, then he is one of the stupidest presidents we've ever had. Well, yeah, I mean that's you know that's his own problem, and that's certainly not a defense, right? I mean, you can say I I believe that I was entitled to that tax deduction when I took it, and it doesn't matter. You still owe us the money. You yeah. know, that's what I'm saying. Not, there's not much defense for the particular case that he's in, because you know <clears throat> the documents were in possession. And there is a paper trail back and forth of trying to get them. And it's clear. You can't dispute that. And then they have evidence, which I'm sure is going to be where their obstruction charge comes from, if there's one in there. And I heard that there was. That after all of that, that he tried to mislead the investigators and hide the evidence, which is 
obstruction, you know? It's not just as simple as saying, oh, you you know, you're right, we forgot about that stuff, and here's your box. All, you you have, back, all you'd have to do is say, hey, we, did, we didn't mean to take this stuff. You know, right. it, it somehow when everything was moved out of which, the White House, it which, came with the stuff. Here, take it back. Yeah, but no, that's not what applied. that's not what he did. Oh, can I can I ask this, uh, Josh? Turn uh, down your microphone a little bit, will you? Uh, me? Yeah, Phil. Uh, okay, I'll back off on. Josh, uh, there was some deal over Trump's pool uh, leaking into the room that supposedly. Well, was that's that that's a little hanky panky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know if Josh knows anything about T that. Turn I, your do mic I, down just a little bit more. Phil, just because I'm trying to balance you against everybody else, you know. All right. Is that better? Yeah, a little better. Okay. It's time for a new computer, Phil. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, the new one's so powerful. <laughs> it's not better. Yeah, but uh, 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 what happened? What What were you saying? What were we talking about? Oh, the pool uh, flooding the. Room. Oh yeah, that pool flooding. Uh, supposedly, what happened was some of the workers. Uh, flooded the pool over or something too much water coming over and it spilled into some of the boxes with the documents in them i wonder if it got uh, uh, it from house <laughs> it's got above ground pool cheapy <laughs> yeah yeah and a lot of people say that was him probably trying to get rid of the evidence yeah he's probably damaging it <laughs> it's yeah. got all the on you can't see this huh you can see it was that was that the obstruction no that's not the obstruction the obstruction is that he he kept moving those boxes and not letting the government find yeah, out where I mean, they I'm were. I'm sure that the obstruction is, from what I've heard, is the multiple times that people are on camera moving them and then putting them back when searches would take place. They would take them out, and when the when the search was over, you know, and hide them, and then they would put them back. And someone can say well those people were acting independently they probably weren't on the orders of trump okay but they must have some evidence that they were because i heard that one of the indictments was in a conspiracy charge well, well he he at one time cooperation he, among people he know, at one so. time he at one time told uh, they have they have the recording of him telling somebody yeah. uh, that he knew he had these things well, right you know so yeah i mean it's not a good he hasn't you know, got he, here's, here's, it's all, you cannot it comes blame, to get the turn you cannot blame law arm. enforcement <laughs> or, uh, law enforcement the justice department or anybody for any of this it, all of this was avoidable 100 percent by simply just saying oh yeah we didn't know that was over there and here you go which like i said by the way is exactly what vice president pence did and exactly what former Vice President Biden did. They said, oh, okay, you're right, and here they are. Now, I will say, and I said this in the beginning, that for Pence and especially for Biden, what they did was reckless, what they did was stupid, and they need to clean up the mess of some of these people that have not handled these type of documents very well. I think they all need to be admonished completely. Mm -hmm. and it needs to be a wake-up call for all of them, and this shit has to stop because it has stopped. I'm fine with admonishing Hillary Clinton. I'm fine with admonishing Joe Biden. I'm fine with kind of dragging their knuckles across the concrete on it a little bit because I don't like it at all. But their actions are a far cry from the obvious criminal actions of Trump. I mean, they just are. So, you know, I mean, he's well on his way to, with, with this and with other things, you know, facing some real heat. I mean, it, you know, and it, it's it's on him. I just don't understand why people cannot understand that two things can be true at one time. You're allowed to to like him and then say, but I was wrong to have done so because he is not the person that I thought that he was. It, it, I mean, it's okay. I mean, you know, I, I mean, there are people that I've liked or respected in the past, and they turned out to be people that, you know, yeah. I didn't think they were. You know, and I mean, so you say to yourself, I have second thoughts about this person. Yeah, look, yeah. you know, I mean, I've been a golf fan my entire life, and I've loved Phil Mickelson, and, you know, he said some things about how much money he had to pay in taxes a few times, uh, you know, and I sort of said, you know, well, fuck you, you know, I mean, you, yeah. you know, when a, when a hundred millionaire cries about 
you know, he might move have to move out of California because they're bleeding him dry. I mean, woe is me, you know. Well, you know, I, there's a very interesting... the way yeah. I felt about it. There's a very you know? interesting documentary yeah. that Marjorie and I watched. It's three episodes, three hours long, uh, called uh, uh, Arnold. And it's about Arnold Schwarzenegger. And it's mm-hmm. about him telling his story. And it's a fascinating. It's really fascinating. You really come away having a, gr- a great more appreciation of this guy than you ever had before. And it's not a fluff piece because then they get to the part where he was running for governor and a, about 20 different women came forward and said, he groped me, you know, he did this, he did that. And this was all when 20 years earlier when he was doing movies and he was still doing his bodybuilding and so on and so forth. How do you think he reacted to that when he was running for governor and that came up? What he did was he simply said, I don't deny any of it. Most of what they're accusing me of is absolutely true. That was 20 years ago. I was younger, I was foolish, and I was inappropriate. And it was inappropriate behavior on my part. And that killed it, it knocked it off at the knees. That's something that Trump is incapable of. If he just once would say, you know, I took these things home and I didn't know it was wrong to take them home, but if the government wants them, here they are, he would have just cut this whole thing off at the knees, but he didn't. He felt he could get away with anything is what he felt. Do you think this indictment is going to rally his base and not only well, help he's, he's trying, raise he's, more money. He's trying to use it for fundraising because already he sent out a fundraising thing saying, I need money for my legal defense. Well, wait a minute. Are you a reported billionaire? Uh, well, it's tough to fight the government. No, even if apparently, you're apparently he doesn't have the kind of money it's t- well, he has. To, the government to can print all the money they want. No, but... It, it, what were we gonna say? Uh, you check uh, your emails already, Phil. Uh, Brian, uh, your no, microphone. Your, your microphone is uh, really loud. You know, I hate to admit this, but I have blocked uh, the word Trump. Uh, so because I don't, I'm tired of all the emails and I'm tired of all the things. Plus, I'm probably not going to vote for Trump if uh, he runs. Uh, I yeah. would vote for him if he's the nominee. He is running. No, but if he was the nominee, yes, I would vote for him. Yeah, but I mean, there's still going to be primaries, and Phil yeah, can vote in the but primaries. If, if he doesn't uh, end up being the nominee, uh, and if there are other people to choose to be the nominee, I'm probably going to vote for someone else. Uh, uh, B- Brian, talk to me now. Let's see if you... Is that better? That's much better. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I can download it. Yeah, Phil, you... He hasn't sent you anything, though, huh? Uh, he might have, but it got blocked. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me let me look and let see me what... ask you. You know, you, you you're the you're the Republican in this crowd. Yeah. Uh, although who knows what Tony is today? Uh, <laughs> but you're the Republican in this crowd. Of all the people that are <laughs> running right now, who would you send your money to? Um, I know who I would. Right now. Probably uh, uh, DeSantis. I, DeSantis, of course. Like now, um, if I were a Republican, okay, I and, which I am not, I'll tell you who I'd send money to. Oh, uh, yeah, you like uh, Christie. Chris Christie. He gave a good thing to say. Yeah, Chris Christie. You have a short memory. Uh, Chris is like really a rhino. Uh, he's, he's like the guy from Utah. Well, you know, it's uh, nice to call somebody something, but the fact is you could also say he's a true conservative. I don't think he is. Because uh, tell me, what are Trump's politics? If you had to say he's this or he's that, what is he? I only I don't know what his politics are. I only know Neither does he. he Yes, but I I do know that he appointed three Supreme Court justices that I am very happy that he did. Oh really? I know he had appointed uh, hundreds of judges that have changed the uh, the Ninth Circuit. And, and, do, you, and other... do you agree with uh, shutting down abortion in this country? Well, he didn't shut down abortion. No, abor- but that's what, that, that's what his uh, loading of the court did. No, they gave it to the states so that people could be better represented. And the states are uh, running well, roughshod well, over this. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, are you, are you against abortion? Uh, I supported abortion uh, when it was totally legal. Uh, I 
feel that in, if the mother, uh, if the life is in jeopardy uh, the, uh, and uh, rape and incest, uh, yes, I, in those cases I support abortion. Josh, do you feel comfortable with any law where if you're in one state it's against the law, but if you're in another state it is the law, it, it isn't against the law? Because I feel very uncomfortable with that. Uh, I'm not particularly fond of that when it comes to most things. I mean, I would only think that of very minor little things, you know, your car registration or something, you know. But when it comes to everyday acts <clears throat> of personal freedom, uh, things like that, mm -hmm. no, I'm not, I'm not fond of, you know, having one state where it's a, a complete ban on something in another where it's... Uh, you know, wide open. Um, I mean, states are within their general. rights. I'm not saying that stuff is illegal. I'm saying, you know, you ask me my personal preference, and yeah. I would prefer that, you know, we had some uniformity so that you could truly live anywhere you wanted in this country. <laughs> have to worry about offending or making major changes to your life in order to do so. Yeah. Okay. And I think especially when it comes to somebody's health, right? Yeah. Because yeah, I mean, then you know they're just going to... Let's like get said, it, turn, turn your microphone down a little bit more. Me? For some reason. I don't know what it is tonight. I think it's because Josh's mic now is so low that when I accommodate for it, everybody else's comes in too hot. How's that? So Yeah, yeah, that's better. If you could turn yours up just a little bit, Josh, it'd be appreciated. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I'm just saying. And, and then when it comes to health issues or something like this, where people are going to just skip states to get it done or get it done illegally or something, then it's I think it's even worse. Yeah. Well, it's just it's just that uh, you you know it it just uh, I mean when we had prohibition, of course, every in every state of the union, prohibition was the order of the day. Uh, but uh, you know, I mean, I just I just think that. I don't know. It's it's pretty terrible. But what Trump did by putting these justices in there is he loaded the court with a court that would get rid of Roe v. Wade, and that's it. You know. He also he also put judges in that uh, ruled on the Bruin decision, uh, which uh, supported the Second Amendment. And uh, Clarence Thomas. Uh, oh, that that uh, wonderful uh, legal uh, eagle, well, but, but Clarence me, Thomas. It was Clarence Thomas. And, uh, and his, his support of the Bruin decision that gave people back their Second Amendment rights in, in most states. But Second Amendment were, rights to do what? Uh, to, 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 have a, to, to have a weapon. To have a, a weapon? They always yeah. had the right to have a weapon. There's but always you know, been a Second see, Amendment. But you see, states like California used a different way of looking at the law uh, well, to because to begin with, you had a, an amendment which was so, um, uh, what could we call it? Uh, uh, it was so, it didn't, I'm trying to look for the word that I'm trying to look for. Uh, what am I trying to say, Josh? It, it, it was a, literally, the Second Amendment is so kind of vague, you know, well, that it can be interpreted in certainly ambiguity in there and it's it's you know <laughs> yeah that's um, what i was looking for uh, the bruin decision uh, said that it had to be based on tradition and uh what had to be based on tradition uh, no, no, that's what bruin said uh and uh they were using a different uh for instance california was using uh, a, a different method of looking at these cases to restrict people's right to buy and own weapons and so forth. So uh, Bruin changed that, and mm -hmm. that's why concealed weapons permits are being allowed in uh, California and mm -hmm. many, are many you, other. Are you for the 29th Amendment? Uh, you mean that's uh, your, your friend, Mr. Newsom? Uh, uh, yeah, if the 29th Amendment was to get rid of Gavin Newsom, I would be for it. But unfortunately, Gavin Newsom has no chance of... Well, he uh, isn't doing it. There, there are people in Congress who are doing it. He well, suggested... He's people in Congress he, he to do it. Yes, he suggested it. Yeah. That it be a new law that... Uh, what, what, what is it going to prohibit? I, I think it was to repeal the Second Amendment. No, not to repeal the Second Amendment. It's uh, to put a little more... The end result. You know. No, to put more uh, 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 restrictions, uh, restrictions on, on gun ownership, which I think there should be, you know? Oh. 
you know, I don't think that, uh, I think that, uh, I mean, how many more kids have to be killed in schools? How many uh, more uh, people have to be uh, uh, eliminated in mass shootings before we say, hey, you know, maybe the Second Amendment has got some problems? How many more people have to blame the inanimate object rather than... We're not blaming the inanimate the object. We're blaming the fact that people can lay their hands on that inanimate well, object, Phil. You know, that's an interesting thing. In Chicago... Oh, here we go have, again. They I have the know. most amount <laughs> of... Well, wait a minute. In Chicago, they have the most amount of, uh, of, of gun uh, killings and, and so forth, and they blame it on the fact that... Yeah, not that, that again. Yeah, they blame it on the fact that the guns are coming in from out of state uh, where these people have loose gun laws. So how come out of state they don't have all the problems that Chicago has? Think about it. Uh, you know, you, you, you look at Chicago, they, they have hundreds of shootings, and, uh, you know, everybody's up in arms. Uh, it's but, those, it, you know what it is? It's those damn blacks. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> let, let, let's look at... What state has the most liberal gun laws? The bi biggest state, Texas, and they have the most shootings too. Yeah, the ma most mass shootings this year so that's, have taken place in Texas. And, and and California has some of the most restrictive gun laws, and they have just as many. No, no, not just as many. No, no. you're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. No. You know, I mean, uh, it. Uh, it in fact, isn't Texas number one in in uh, Texas is number one, and isn't number two Florida? I think so. Yeah. Phil's looking it up now. Oh no no no! I I, I was just checking my email, but it wasn't from Trump. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I guess I could go into junk and see if, uh, uh, if if there's Trump stuff today. So where would it? Well, go? certainly, if he wanted to get money out of anybody, it's you. You know. Yeah. Um, no, that's. Uh, I, I'm looking for uh, for junk. Yeah, I guess it would be here. Uh, I have a thousand eighty one. Uh, oh, it's the secret of Viagra. Mm -hmm. uh, no, uh, there's a whole bunch of junk, but I don't see any. Yeah. Junk. Well, while you're looking for that, Kevin, any thoughts on any of this? I mean, when you heard the you you heard tonight about uh, Trump. Uh, I did not. <clears throat> I haven't seen the news all day. I've oh, been, they, they've uh, announced preparing it, for graduation all day. So. It's been announced that he has to show up Tuesday at 10 p.m. in court in Miami to be charged with uh, seven counts. Oh, He's been indicted. Huh? What? Does he need a ride? I'll I'll stop by and give him a ride. There you go. <laughs> give him a ride. This yeah. isn't Trump, but uh, there's a thing called uh, orgasm spot on squirting school number one secret <laughs> to the G spot. Okay, well we know what you <laughs> we know what you click on on your computer. The algorithms <laughs> have you by the balls. Yeah, you know. But it's been junk. Uh, no, you know I I went back uh, well to about ten thirty this morning and. Uh, hmm. Well, you don't worry. You'll be getting something in that junk mail. I'm sure. How about you, Tony? How do you feel about it? Uh, how do I follow his emails? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess I got to let it play out. I mean, I th I think in two years, I just don't think his health is going to stand up, Trump, because he's going to be coming under so much scrutiny. And I think with Christie running and Pence, it's going to make for an interesting debate because Pence was his right hand man. So, well, they're all see. They're they're all they were all hoping for this to happen, what happened today, because this makes their candidacy a little more effective. Okay, Over half the country was hoping for this. But the problem with it is, okay, <laughs> is that there are so many people running, I think it's like 13 of them or something like that, that are running against Trump for the nomination, that mm -hmm. they may all negate each other and put still put Trump in the, in, even if he loses half his people, he's still going to be far ahead of anybody else. Alex, during the Democratic uh, uh, 2020, how many Democrats were on the pla on the platform? I think there were 19. Really? Uh, that many? Yeah, uh, I think so. Uh, there were and, quite a few. Yeah, I think there were 19. You know, I remember... Well, it was Pulse interesting. The way uh, Schwarzenegger became governor of California 
was they 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 recalled Gray Davis. They had a recall election. But part of that recall election was if he gets recalled, who would you vote for? Okay, so it was yeah. all an election and a recall at the same time. And Schwarzenegger was part of a field of I think forty five candidates. So all he had to do was get like two percent of the vote, and he would have been governor. Yes, uh, Alan. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, going back to DeSantis for a minute. Disney announced in the business news that they are going to go at that they're going to file all kinds of charges against him, and uh, they're going to try and run him out of becoming president. And they've even got George W. Bush in his Lincoln Project, which helped stop stop uh, 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 Trump from winning re-election in 2020 on board with Disney. I think I think DeSantis is screwed with. Well, the I think that DeSantis made a big mistake by picking on the mouse. You know, absolutely. Uh, I, I, you know, um, mm -hmm. it, to begin with, I mean, the amount of money that that Disney brings into that state is extraordinary. Okay, yeah. one of the largest uh, multimedia companies in the world. Well, it's the largest employer in the state of Florida. I think the yeah. only the, the state private might, employer, yes. private employer in the state and uh, uh, a lot of people are very mad because what Disney was going to do was he they were going to make their home office basically Florida that's what that billion dollar project was they were another gonna build. Park they were gonna open. no it's not another park it was literally their home office there was gonna their be world the, headquarters. their world headquarters and now they're not gonna do it Nope. So, I mean, think of how much is that going to cost the state of Florida and, and people California. who want to be employed? What? Let them stay in California where they got to pay 10, 12 percent state. Uh, They're not in California, but that's OK. Yeah. Yeah. I'll I mean, put another park in Florida called Woke World. Woke World. <laughs> Woke World. <laughs> you know why? Uh, you know who really split the vote on the Schwarzenegger uh, election? Oh, Jesus. It's a tough Gary about Coleman. Because Gary oh. Coleman was also running, but he didn't come in second. No, no. But I he, think the porno actress came in second. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. Mary, right. Mary Carey. Mary like Carey. Yeah. Not that I know any porn. I'm just, I oh, just report that. Exactly. Just a junk mail, Brian. <laughs> By the way, if you do want to watch a fascinating documentary, Netflix, Arnold, the documentary did is. I watch that. Did, did he? He was talking about when he was a child. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, up yeah, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. I watched that. It was it was very interesting. It, yeah, and he he you know, he, he it's amazing how likable he is. He is a conservative, but he's not you know, he can go either way. He votes he is on the side of what he feels is right and not what somebody tells him he has to be on the side of cuz he's a conservative. Yep. You know. And he's a true conservative. I mean, there's no question about it, but he's the kind of conservative you can really like and appreciate. Now, you were saying Christie. Now, I know that he wasn't uh, prosecuted on that Bridgegate thing, uh, but, um, you know, he got he got a bunch of bad press on that. Mm -hmm. Do you think that he has this personality where he wants to retaliate against people that uh, don't go. Do you know way. anybody else like that? Yeah, I was just gonna say somebody just got indicted today. That's like that, huh? Actually, yeah. actually, I, I, I think Christie has softened in a lot of ways in the last couple of years after that situation. I think Nikki Haley's the best looking. Nikki Haley. Yeah, I don't know. She doesn't. She doesn't give me a stiffy. No, well, she doesn't give me a stiffy either. But she's the best looking out of all the candidates. The, you well, know, she's the, the, wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, you're being sexist. She's the only woman out of all the candidates. Oh, okay, well, yeah, well, I'm not interested in sleeping with the guys, so if I had to sleep with a Republican right now, she might be it. Really? Okay. You know, I, 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 I she's just not my idea of a good time, you know. Uh, but, you guys could argue during sex. What else is happening in the news? I'm trying to remember uh -huh. here. There's some other stuff happening. Uh, oh, of course, when you get back to uh, DeSantis, also uh, California is thinking of uh, charging DeSantis with kidnapping. Yes. Well, and people. so is New York. 
Yes. Because these were the two places where he sent planes with people on them. The one that yep. went to California, they had all the people who went sign a release saying uh, they were going of their own volition, you know. And they so they signed it. Of course, they couldn't speak English, so how could they read it? But they signed it. Would they know the difference between California and New York? Well, no, well, what happens is, if I'm not mistaken, correct me, Josh, if I'm not if I'm wrong about this. Even though you signed something like that, if you were fraudulently led to sign it, it doesn't stick. You know, if you were told, "Hey, we're sending you to California so you can have jobs." And then you get there and there are no jobs, but to go there, you had to sign this release. It it doesn't hold, you know. They're not allowed to work anyway. Huh? They don't have green cards. They're not allowed. They don't have a well, visa. Obviously. They allow them to work in Central California, Phil. I don't see you out there picking lettuce. I yeah. see you eating it, yeah. but I don't see you picking <laughs> it. Yeah. You know. Um, but it's great. <laughs> Jeff, how do you feel about it? Are you happy to see uh, Trump uh, uh, get it stuck? Ed, get stuck to? I'm looking forward to uh, on Tuesday to see how bad it could be. For I love seeing him show up and get like. Are they going to handcuff him? You know, he's going to end up with a mugshot. Because they didn't handcuff him here in New York, mm -hmm. where if any of us were going through what he went through in New York, they would have handcuffed us. You know. I, I want to see the mug shot of him. The, mu the mug shot? Oh, yeah. The, I don't think they took a mug shot of him in New York, did they? I, I got it right here. You got one? Yeah. <laughs> there it is. You'll pay for anything, won't you? It's a nice frame. How much did you that cost? You got to get rid of the, the idiot in there. How much did that cost you, Phil? And how do you know he signed it? Did he sign it? Well, I'm sure it was signed by a computer. Uh, but uh, it was $35. That's not much. $35. No, that, 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 the frame's worth that. No, I, the frame I had. Um, uh, oh. oh, you went out and bought a frame for that piece of crap? A $1 frame, one of those plastic, you know. Oh, okay. Oh. Look at it in the 99 cent dollar stores. I used to go for uh, a uh, dollar, uh, dollar uh, treat. Uh, yeah, yeah, when you get a <laughs> You get a minute. certificate of uh, of uh, congratulations. Read to us. Up. Read to us what oh. it says, Phil. He probably says that to all us. Hey, Tony, Tony, can you have that? Can you have that graded for him? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, graded yeah. for him. Uh, yeah. Hold on, hold on a second. I want to hear. I want to hear what it says. What? Okay. It says, uh, Phil Meyer, uh, thank thank you for your support. Uh, together, we will keep America great. Best wishes, Donald Trump. Donald J. Trump. Donald J. Trump. And was Does it know you do carpeting? Is that how you're going to help make America great again? Uh, well, yeah. I, I spread nylon uh, one floor at a time. At least they put your name on it. Yeah. I thought they probably have a big stamp and they put Phil. He's, he's a really good businessman. He knows how to take care of the customer. If more businesses were like him, there'd be more happy people in the world. Ooh. Yeah. Tony, can you grade stuff in negative numbers? Uh, I don't know if they, they could authenticate a signature, but CBCS does. When that. you grade comic books, yeah. let me ask you this. Do you have some kind of a, I don't know, paper or something that says that you are licensed to well, grade I, them? Or or do you just grade them and they, you know? Yeah, I kind of I grade them myself before I send them into the, to the grading house. So I get an idea of how they grade. So after a while, I get an assessment of like what they look at for a defect. So I'm pretty much around what they what they would. If I think it'd be a nine zero, maybe I'd be off a grade or above. So I'm a little more stricter, I would say. Yeah, but I mean, do you have to have some kind of thing that makes it official that you can? No, grade? Well, they make it official. I I can actually grade a book on my own and have an idea of what before that before I would send it in to put money into it. I would try to say well, which are the best old books I want to grade first to put money into it. Mm -hmm. So I make I look over a, a bunch of books I was working on. Today. All you're doing is assessing. I'm assessing it myself, yeah, and say let's put these up for if they're key and books. Then you, then you, then you send it in somewhere where they're graded. In case yeah. people don't know what we're talking about when we say grading, uh, this is a, a, a system by which they figure out how much a comic book is yeah. worth. Okay. And it, the highest grade is a 10, but I don't think anybody ever gets that, right? Condition, I guess, right? 
It was kind of like coin coin grain. Nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Kind of like coin. Is it like coin? Coin grading. Well, they do coins. It's similar to coins. It, I never. It, it, it's based on condition. I don't think it's. Yeah. I don't think it's based on the worth of the comic book. I mean, no. It, they're really supposed to take the worth out of it. But you know what they do do, Alex. And I had a complaint to one of the. Well, not a complaint. When I was sending, I was talking to one of the guys at CGC. What they do do is, say, if I send them a Batman book from the fifties. Do you know they'll charge me more to grade that book? Say it will cost me forty dollars for a regular grade from nineteen fifty eight. Mm-hmm. They'll charge me more. I says, why are you charging? <laughs> You're just grading the book because monetarily it's worth more. But aren't you supposed to be impartial? I mean, you know what I'm saying? I says, well, we charge yeah, more yeah. for certain books. But but you're, you're, they don't really grade it based upon the fact that oh, this is a very rare Spider Man or whatever. They will do a number one, and they would charge you more for certain. That's why I was complaining to the guy. You really should have a flat rate. Right? Because what I'm yeah. what I'm what I'm questioning here is what you're really grading is the condition of I'm the grading object. condition if there's any restoration yeah i'm looking at inside i can put that under ultra light i told I mean, you i used to be able to take a blue uh, uh, you take a blue light and you turn the light off and you go over the cover and if there's anything that's like an ink spot on it you'll see it right away it'll pop up or sperm Tony, that will also or spermatozoa them. stains things like that <laughs> You know, the little peanut butter thing. Oh, look, there's peanut butter on Batman. You, was... you notice how I cleaned that up, Brian, because I noticed who was in the background? Oh, yeah, you did that. She oh, yeah. Tony sent me his own world right now. What's that? Oh. What, what, what? Tony, Tony sent me a Trump comic. I did? It turns what? out it's worth $200 now. Minimum $200. So you could sell that raw and you get at least 150 easy. You, you, you. You didn't. You sent me fucking fifty cent comic books. The well, postage was more than the damn comic books. But Alan, did, did, I think did, did, I sent you a teddy bear to get yeah, well. Yeah, Alan is very. He has a big heart. I have to say that. At the time, Alan, of course, it wasn't really worth one fifty. But then I said, "Wow, it's really expensive. It's a it's a rip off of Jack Kirby's number one. That's why." You asked me if I like Spider Man. I thought you were going to send me something from the fifties. No, I'm just. Well, he come out of spiders. I'm just teasing you, Tony. I appreciated it. That was yeah. nice of you to send me. You see, that was, yes. Alex, I have to say, Alan is a decent guy. You yeah. know, I got emotional when you sent me that teddy bear. I told that to Phil. I actually did, but then that's just me. You got emotional over a teddy bear, he yeah, said? I was going for that stupid, right? I opened it up, and I know what it was. I said, oh, my God. I said, what are you getting all emotional about? Somebody sent me a teddy bear. That was nice. She said, you know, you're like your mother. It says, get well on it. Get it well. Did. I have it on top of my shelf, yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah, that was nice. Of yeah, okay. I guess I was getting caught up in the whole thing. So, if you'd get sick longer than a day, Alex, I'd send you one. <laughs> I, I was yeah. I was Thank sick for like minutes. four days uh, this month. With the okay, I'll send you. I'll send you one next time. Let us know. Uh, Tony started buying the same coffee that I drink. Yes, hold on. Let me get the pot. Hold on. Oh, no, really? Yeah, That's obvious. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no! no mur- it, murder it, out by Black Rifle. This is the strongest stuff ever. <laughs> so Phil turns, I send him some weak stuff, and Phil sends him strong stuff. I didn't now, send it to him. He said, what do you drink? And I told him, and he went and bought some. And, hmm. you know. What a loser you are to tell him that. After watching the way he looks like he's high on speed. Jesus. Well, now you know why. Yeah, you know what? He just went off to show us the coffee he's got, and he'll come back jittering it towards the camera like this. Yeah, I don't even take decaf anymore. Uh, huh? I don't take decaf coffee anymore. Why not? I don't know. My cardiologist. Take you know, I I drink. Coffee. Well, I have some coffee here, but I just do a yeah. little bit of it. You know, not much, just enough to perk me up. I don't want to run it in, but I was like his doc land in Alex. Alex, it's a good coffee. I didn't think it'd be good. I actually enjoy it. What's the other brand? Ho. It's bl- like Phil, Alex. I opened a black rifle. Everything has a threat of violence on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And murder out. I mean, yeah. murder out. Oh. I was like, everything with him has to be like powerful. Well, what was what was the coffee that we were drinking for a while? Grim Death or something like that. Death Wish. Death Wish yeah. coffee. This is better than Death Brown Wish. Yeah. This is much better than Death Wish. It's Death good coffee, Phil. I have to say that. So now here's my big question for Josh: If they indict him on Tuesday, will he be convicted by Friday? I mean, how long is it going to take? By Friday, uh, you know, the Never. operation with the trial that he's going to have to have in New York because 
I'm sure. I mean, they're definitely going to do it probably within you know seven, eight, six, eight months. I would think. Mm-hmm. But that's also about the time that he's got the other one scheduled, right? Well, when when was it scheduled? Well, are they all going to get together and say, "Listen, you get him on Monday and Tuesdays. We get him on Thursdays and Fridays." Well, they'll, they'll have. Oh, to wait a minute! That's out. right in the middle of uh, you know the primaries. Well, that's his problem. Uh, yeah. I'll have to figure something out with that. I. How long? I. I think I don't remember if you know the federal government does trials pretty quickly or not. I mean, maybe they would do it before that, you know, especially if he requests. Well, you've got to realize trial, so. to begin with, his lawyers are going to stall this thing oh, as sure, long as right. they're going to ask for a change of venue. Your mic is You're too hot. Your venue. mic is too hot. Uh, Sorry. Yeah. Um, they might. Uh, well, they might even be able it's to a Florida get a schedule, problem. you know, quick. Yeah, but but the thing is that he's he's going to he's going to uh, his lawyers are going to uh, you know file one thing after another to prevent it from happening. You know. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm sure that any sort of trial for that will probably not be until like the late fall, probably early. Now my know. question is, do you think he has enough money to pay lawyers to handle this situation? Uh, I I would say that he probably really doesn't. I mean, I don't think he's got nearly the money. That, oh, he's going to get a public defender? You know, people think that. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, uh, it, it, it's going to be it's going to be interesting. It's he's going to start a fundraiser or a GoFundMe thing, and people like Phil are going to send him 50 bucks a month and to help keep him out of jail. Would you send him money, Phil, to help with his defense? Um, No. Okay. Oh, well, that, that, well, then that goes for the rest of America too, who probably was pro-Trump, who now says, "Ah, eh, you know, I've sent him uh, enough." There'll be. I think there's a lot of people out there that uh, uh, support him. Yeah, there uh, are quite a few American Nazis in this country, and they have uh, money. Uh, they have money. You know. Uh, yeah, I, was, I wouldn't uh, think that. Uh, I wouldn't think it'd be till probably at least you know maybe like October, November, or whatever. So. You know, I don't know. I mean, uh, Merry Christmas! You found we found you guilty. Maybe there's, uh, you know, there's enough news this week. Maybe 60 Minutes will continue to ruin its reputation and spend half of its show interviewing a disgruntled member of the British royal family instead of reporting on the news. I, I don't know. <laughs> that's, funny, Josh. that's funny, Josh. That's, that's good. I don't know. I I thought that was the most ridiculous. That's the second time this year, apparently they've devoted half of their program to interviewing oh no you know what that was right now they're in hiatus and they're not yeah. doing new shows and that was simply right. rerunning the old one that they did well they mentioned some interview they had done with him in january as well i don't know i've skipped that no they said they said in their opening as we were reported in january yeah. that's what they do when they run these reruns and What's then if, the but, but if something really important happens they run another story that's mm -hmm. brand new yeah you know what's the deal with Harry's visa? I guess they're they're trying to pull his <laughs> visa uh, to to live in the states. No, I didn't hear anything like that. I read something about it. Listen, we want him here. He's yeah, you know, that family's wealthy. What the hell? You know, we can use his I'll money. Be more money than Trump. Yeah, you're on the government dole. Well, anyway, there's the theme. I'm playing the theme. I have to tell you that because you can't hear it, but. Anyway, I want to thank uh, Phil for being here tonight and ha helping me during the first half hour. Okay. I also want to thank uh, uh, our good friend uh, Brian for being here tonight. Thank you, Brian. And give my best to, oh, there she is, to Adrian, who's in back of you. There, she's going to wave goodbye. She, she graduated uh, first grade today. She's Congratulations. Congratulations. Give me her address. I'll send her some money. Congra Congratulations, Adrian. Oh, send me money. My daughter's going to college. Okay, I'll send <laughs> you some to money, that. too. What about me? I need money. Get, get me some money here. Um, Everybody got, wants money. I got Come too much now. money right now. So. I need four bucks. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I don't need any, so don't. Good. Don't Good job, Adrian. Keep it going. Yeah, but he yeah keep won't going. Use it if he sends it. Yeah, Adrian, you only got another eleven of them before you get to college. So, yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much uh, uh, for being with us this evening, uh, Alan. Josh Wheeler, always good to have you here. Kevin, Dunks. 
Oh, yeah, okay. And <laughs> Tony, thank you. And, and, of course, Jeff Stein, thank you. Would everybody kind of give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Jack Bishop is next. He's going to have a citizen panel, only with him you use Skype, and you uh, you uh, use Skype, and it's GabNet Live at Skype, okay? Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow night uh, for the last show of the week. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Night, everybody.